everybody, this is the Retro Gamer back with you again for a second review today. And we're going to be looking at one that most people in America have not heard of, thankfully. Hong Kong 97 on the Super Famicom slash Super Nintendo. Let's dive right into this piece of garbage. After that, you see this advertisement. I don't get why this is even here. This is a video game, not an advertising platform. But anyway, <coughs> this is a Hong Kong 97 made by Happy Software. Now, you're going to see immediately why this game is possibly the worst game ever made. But I'm also going to try to break down the screens for you. Now, the funny part is, you have bombs in this game. But right after the word reds, there should not be a period there. It should be all one big sentence. And then here, I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, but uh, let's, let's go on here. And then Bruce Lee's relative Chen, who do we had a relative named that? Um, this game just gets dumber and dumber as you play it, and then you're just gonna we're just gonna let the storyline play here and let you guys read up what's going on in this crap heap of a game. But uh, <coughs> pretty soon let's get in we'll get into the game. And wait, there's a Coca-Cola background. This is just basically a run and gun shoot 'em up where you're trying to actually hit everything with with oh I died there, but you're supposed to hit everything without dying yourself. And now this next level is a picture of the leader that died at the beginning of the game. Kind of disrespectful there, I would think. But notice the endless loop here. It just loops and loops and loops every time you die. <clears throat> and of course, you see again the story. Yeah, this is just basically an endless loop. The same thing with changing backgrounds. Every time you die, something different will happen. And well... I don't know how much of a game this really is. I mean, there's nothing to it. But we're gonna take a look at it in force anyway. So just bear with me here on this crap heap of a game. Now, what I want to say is this is a public domain game. So <clears throat> this game never saw the light of day here on the U in the U.S. version of the Famicom, which is the Super Nintendo. The Super Famicom in Japan, in Japan sold this, but no store in the U.S. would even take this game. It tells you how bad it really is. Now. There are many gram grammatical errors in this, but I'm not going to break down all of them. I mean, I'd be a disservice to anyone who wants to look at this piece of trash themselves. But, <clears throat> I will tell you that the final boss is a floating head. That's how stupid this is. I mean, you couldn't get a full-bodied boss. This is the last time I'm going to take a This is the last and only time I will take a look at this. Now, I will review any game you ask, except for Action 52, but, and of course this. But again, it's just a repeating cycle of nothing this game is. I don't even know why this game was ever made. And honestly, it probably made just to drive people up the wall, to be honest, but... There's not really much more to say about this thing, other than the fact that it is, indeed, the worst game ever made. It's worse than Action 52, it's worse than Stadium Events, it's worse than... Any of those rare games that you pay high dollar for, it is worse than even E.T. And even I, now even I don't think that's a bad game, but still, this game is nothing. And you know what? I'm drawing the line right here. I can't take it. We'll play one more and then I'm drawing the line. I can't take this anymore. But seriously, they torch you with this endless loop of a game and then expect you to actually come out and buy it. I'm glad this wasn't released here at the outside of Public Domain Wrong. Because this game did not ever deserve a release. But, <clears throat> in the end of things, just be glad it wasn't released here. It would not have sold. Because, well, this is just a cheap rip. Cheap, I think it's a cheap Space Invaders ripoff, but that's just me. And that's all I can take of this game. One more thing I will say about this game is it's an endless... The music is an endless loop, too. It gets annoying after a little while, but like I said before, that's all I can take of this. Good night.